wipe with the same brush. So how much drier is it? So what you want to do is, can you get the later one, break it in half and just taste the grain. And what, <laughs> <laughs> what you should be tasting is this should be quite dry, crack the crispy a bit. John. But there should be, a, once, it, once it comes out, it's a bit dry. John. Yeah, you should kind of come out with a taste of chestnut, hint of chestnut. Mm -hmm. And that hint of chestnut would indicate that if you can still taste chestnut, you're over 35%. It's not fit for combine. You can test obviously the microwave and grain means and all the rest of it. This is just an advanced, easy way of doing the same thing. Okay, we're in the early drill crops here and you can see that these have got reached maturity and in so doing are ready to harvest now. Later drill crops tend to take um, the appropriate, if you drill a month later you're going to harvest a month later so it's, you lose out in that window. You can see with these two that we've got here, two different varieties. This is one called Harvey and this is Chrysa. The colour of the Harvey, the red colouring you've got in here, would indicate that it's of little use or little benefit for the human consumption market. This one, much whiter, is actually of benefit to the consumption market. What we're really after, what the human consumption market's after, is how much germ we have in the grain. Because the germ they, can, they make flour of, blends of flour, which um, is used um, uh, in, in making um, chapatis, that sort of thing. And you can see the white germ here. And the, the degree of white germ we have gives us the ability to say, is there enough there to make the flour? Wings you've got here on the grain maze need to be cleared and cleaned up because they are the carriers of fusarium and mycotoxins. And so when we harvest it, we need to actually make sure that this pink wing is actually cleaned away from the actual grain. Here's the germ, and that germ should go through, ideally at that width, at that height, right across the grain. You can see if we go to this side, clean away the, germ, the uh, wing, you can see the actual germ doesn't go very far up at all. Just to about here. So it's sort of on a diagonal through the plant. So you can see that um, the steel reinforcing rods, um, which keep the crop standing, uh, go from a lot to less to very few. And in so doing, um, we, uh, whilst we get the crop standing, we also lose out in terms of digestibility from very much to less to very little digestibility of the stem. Clearly, if it's grain maize, it's not an issue. We were after reinforcing rods. But from the point of view of forage maize, we're after standing power to a degree, and, um, and, but also digestibility. This one here has got so little uh, standing power in it that it's more likely to collapse. It's fine if we're giving biogas, we're cutting it early. But for something like forage maize, you want in between, which is this one here. Can you see how this is all just crumbling away as we are um, digging it away? Good soil structure at the top, no issue at all. So that's fine, but of course we want to get the maize roots down to depth. And the question is, at depth, have we got the same degree of uh, soil structure? So if we clear away that, good soil structure down to, down to about 10 inches, what's it like here? And the first thing to see is that it's actually tighter to get in. And then when we tap it up, it's breaking in these slightly bigger lumps. And you can see here, we've got compacted area with a plate here. The roots are actually falling along the plate. This is uh, about nine, 10 inches. And all we need to do is to break that quite easily with a subsoiler. The actual cracks, there's roots going through it are not that severe, so if there's more important places to subsoil, then I'd probably do that. But you can probably pick out just, can you see the colour ch color change there to a slightly greyer colour, indicating that we've got some lack of oxygen supply down here as well. So really it would be sensible to subsoil that for the maize plant next year. Particularly if you know that for the maize plant, 
we want to get the root system right down to depth and in right down depth means that we need to be able to move all this um, soil to allow this roots to explore as quickly as possible. The best way of doing that is to subsoil uh, even in the spring. Whilst it won't do a brilliant subsoiling job, it will be able to break up this bit and allow us to get this root to penetrate through.